2021 champion, Muhammad Ben. The man of the day, the man of the week, number Paul. one player in the world. Paul is going to be your champion. Congratulations to McBeth. Paul, your champion. For Paul oh, McBeth, oh, your five-time yeah. world champion. Seeing him play. Obviously, you know, he's the best player in the world, no question. No, uh, nobody's arguing that anymore, I don't think, at this point. His work ethic is really what separates him from the rest, I feel like. You know, is that he has that extra drive to where he wants to be the best, and he works to be, you know, the best. He's earned his title. Paul Macbeth didn't start out with the biggest name in disc golf, but it didn't take him long to go from his first time playing back in 2004 to being Rookie of the Year in 2008 in his first professional season. Paul was able to travel to 33 pro events in 2008, all while he was still in high school. He ended the year with 23 top 10 finishes and things were moving in the right direction. But in 2010, everything changed for Macbeth. He decided to quit playing baseball after pursuing it his whole life to fully commit to disc golf. And within one year, he was winning tournaments and finally showing up in the spotlight. Paul took down his first big event at the 2011 Memorial Championship, capturing his first national tour win. And he went on to add to his already great season by doubling down and taking his second national tour win at the Beaver State Flame. With Paul's full focus on disc golf now, he was ranked 11th in the world after his 2011 season was over. And with Macbeth continuing to get better in the offseason, he was able to have another show out year in 2012, climbing the rankings to the number 4 spot and winning the biggest event of the year. My mind was fully focused on the Worlds, um, and I think it shocked a lot of people that I was even in contention, and the way you know that I eventually won, I think it was surprising to a lot of people. Uh, but it wasn't surprising to myself. After winning in 2012, Paul wanted nothing less than to repeat his performance and defend his title in 2013. In leading up to Worlds, he was dominating, already winning two national tour events in both of the majors that were played, setting Macbeth up for exactly what he wanted. Here we are, David. There you go. Your 2013 Men's Open Division World Champion for the second consecutive year, Paul Macbeth. A rare repeat on the PDGA top scoreboard, folks, Paul Macbeth. And guess what? Our new men's world champion joins us in the Planet Studios, Paul Macbeth. Congratulations. Thank you. How's it feel, buddy? It's good. I mean, two time, two in a row. I think only Kenny and Barry have done that in the open division, so. Yeah! That's some good company. What made the difference, Paul? Uh, I think just consistency. I was throwing really good drives this week and staying in the fairways. I think I only had one bogey and that was the first round, which was actually, I think, my only hot round. So uh, consistency, consistency and having good scores, solid scores. After going back to back, Paul was starting to separate himself from everyone else. He was now ranked number one in the world and had all the momentum coming into the 2014 season. And leading up to Worlds, Paul finished in the top three at every single tournament he played in besides one, winning three national tour events and another major. But for his opportunity to win his third Worlds in a row, he had to beat Ricky Wysocki in a playoff. And the two went birdie for birdie, pushing the hole four times. Until finally on hole five, Wysocki made his first mistake. Including this one. Oh, oh no. no. Oh no. Oh man. And that gave Paul a chance to win his third Worlds in a row. It's huge. I mean, the only other person to have you know, more than three in a row is Kenny, and that was nine. And I don't. I'm nowhere you know, near looking at that. Uh, I got a tournament in two weeks at National Tour, so that's what I'm looking forward to. So now after three huge years for Paul, everyone knew he was an amazing player, but moving on to 2015, I don't think anyone expected him to be able to pull off what he did. Out of 26 professional tournaments, he placed in the top three in 24 of them. Macbeth won three out of the seven national tour events and won every single major of the year, including his first USDGC win, his second European Open in a row, and his fourth Worlds in a row. This is him walking in to drop in for his fourth World Championship in a row. And there it is. In a row. Nick Beast. In possibly the most convincing fashion. Right? You know, for one by what? 
10 spells. With only four people to ever even win back to back, Paul taking down four in a row put him at legend status. The only person to have more wins in a row is King Climo with nine. He won from 1990 through 1998, and that will most likely never be beaten. But with Paul getting four in a row, I'm sure there was people that thought he could do it. But Paul's streak came to an end the following year in 2016, coming in second to Ricky Wysocki at Worlds. And it would take him three years before everything came back together in 2019. I just want to go out there and shoot a great round. Um, this is the final round of the World Championships, and if I have the if I have the hot round, I'm winning this. And if I leave the door open, Emerson's been stepping into it uh, pretty easily, so I need to keep the keep the pedal down and and uh, go for 18. Turnover mid range. Those are the likely plays. You see that mandatory pull not likely to come into play as Paul goes with the putter a little bit. Anheuser. Gliding up to the basket uh, and hitting the haven. Hitting it. Oh, just a surgeon, but like one of the best surgeons of all time. The difficult shot himself to try to save par. And look how he didn't give himself a meter. Oh, Whoa. come on. Paul from... Yeah, he's a little closer than I thought. Yeah. Probably yeah. 40. Yeah. Ooh, no problem. Nicely done. Makes up for a shot that I'm sure he would have liked to have back because he, he ought to be inside the circle, certainly, from that range. Mm -hmm. Paul needs this to keep pace. And again, gets it. That's a big play. See if Macbeth can gain three or if it's just going to be the two strokes. He's so locked in. Great birdie, minus five through the most difficult stretch of the course. It has been a drought of three years for this man. The drought is over. Paul Macbeth, your five time world champion, the embrace from his wife, Hannah. And I just got double goosebumps. Yeah. What a moment. Gentlemen, introducing your 2019 PDGA Professional Disc Golf World Champion and five-time world champion, Paul McBeth! The king is back, but that has got to be such a sweet feeling for him. Now after 14 years into his professional career, Paul Macbeth is the biggest name in disc golf. Year by year, he's in the top three in the world rankings, and it doesn't seem like he's slowing down anytime soon. He's the highest earner in the sport. He has 20 national tour wins, 17 elite series wins, 11 major wins, and he's a five-time world champion. Paul is a legend of the sport that is still breaking course records and winning tournaments today. Only time will tell how high he can set the bar for others. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe for more disc golf content.